Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim and uh, welcome back to this next video and this is another video uh, in the series of videos on the uh, scope of microbiology uh, and in this particular video I want to focus on the uh, field of biotechnology uh, which is one of the uh, important uh, applicable fields of microbiology now if you like uh, generally define this biotechnology so biotechnology include any process uh, in which the uh, human being use the metabolism of living things so in this particular case if you're talking about the living things so uh, if you uh, specify it to the microbiology so these living things will refer to the microorganisms so uh, any process in which uh, we use the metabolism of living things to arrive at a desired product so the desired product can be like the bread making by the yeast uh, to the uh, gene therapy in which we replace the defective gene in a particular patient if you talk about the uh, applications of this biotechnology so one of the important applications or one of the uh, important thing that biotechnology can do is that it can merge the biological information with the computer technology in a specialized field known as the bioinformatics now these days a lot of data is generated manually it is almost impossible to process that particular data so what this bioinformatics do is it is going to uh, process this biological information so created so uh, and using the computer technology to give you a better understanding of what this particular biological information means so this bioinformatics like can help you in the uh, designing of the drugs against the uh, multi duck resistant bacteria and it can help you in the uh, designing of drugs uh, which can interact with specific proteins in the body thereby creating the uh, desired physiological process uh, another important uh, you can see application of the biotechnology is the nanotechnology and what this nanotechnology means is that uh, this particular field of biotechnology is exploring the use of the microscopic equipment and the particles that can enter into the human body and once it entered into the human body so if this is a, an equipment it can help you in the diagnosis of a variety of the diseases and if it is a particle it can help you deliver a particular drug like a cancer drug to specified cells in the body uh, another important thing is the stem cell research uh, and the most important uh, stuff that is covered in the stem cell research is the cloning and the regenerative medicine. What I mean by this uh, regenerative medicine is the application of treatments developed to replace tissues damaged by injury or diseases. Uh, genetically modified organism that is yet another important example of the biotechnology in which you are going to make the uh, organisms you can uh, modify the genetics of that particular organism the genome of that particular organism uh, for example the uh, somatotropin is actually a growth hormone which can boost the milk production in the dairy cows so if you modify the uh, cow in a way that it produces this particular hormone that can give you a lot of production of the milk and there can be like tomatoes uh, with a longer shelf life if you genetically modify their genome uh, another important application is the therapeutics uh, like uh, the uh, production of the insulin uh, nowadays the insulin is produced by the e coli and it is giving you pure and a very large quantity of the insulin in a very shorter period of time as compared to the uh, conventional ways where the insulin that was uh, produced and was used for medical purposes the uh, diagnosis like uh, we talk about the biotechnology diagnostics so they uh, this particular field actually uses the tools uh, which can give you the genetic information and this genetic information can help doctors detect and diagnose conditions faster and with greater ease and accuracy if i give you examples from the diagnostic you can use the polymerase chain reaction which is for short known is the PCR it can help you in uh, an accurate diagnosis of different kind of the uh, diseases so if you talk about this genetic information it can also help you in the uh, generation of what is known as the personalized medicine thereby decreasing the side effect of those particular drugs uh, the microorganisms when you study them in the uh, biotechnology they can help you in the process of the bioremediation uh, that can help you in the treatment of different kind of the waste 
and turn them into useful products and remove this waste from the environment to prevent their hazardous effect on the human health and the environment. And of course, these microorganisms, they are very useful in the uh, energy production, especially if you talk about the biofuels, uh, which can be uh, produced by using a different set of the uh, uh, a different set of the microorganisms. So if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel, uh, press the notification bell and share it with your friends. And we will continue the discussion in the next video.